got some work to do. Let's get some work done. Hey, I'm Danielle. I'm a reseller and this is my channel, Yard Sales and Dreams. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you tuning in. I got a few things going on today. I'm gonna pack up a few things. I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I bought to resell. All right, so we've got three orders going out, this being one of them. Uh, this is a little tiny Pennsylvania Railroad semi-truck trailer. It sold for 20 bucks. And, that's and the next item I've got going out are these two <coughs> pair of Tommy Hilfiger whitey tidies underwears. And see these two sold together for I believe it was $56 and then my next one that I've got is right over here this Valentino body spray reseller left in the world that doesn't have a thermal printer and I know that I need to get one I know that I waste a lot of tape sadly I know this I've been reselling part-time for a lot of years now probably like 16 and should have got a thermal printer a long time ago but I'm gonna be getting me one all right so this area of my basement is just a little overwhelming um, I still have a lot to get through in here from that big storage unit pick that we did. But I'm pretty sure that today I'm going to take these pheasants over and list them. These things are so heavy. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm going to be listing these today. I'm gonna bring them over so I don't forget about them because I know that I will. These things are going to be beautiful, like in the right setting. They don't look very beautiful sitting in my basement, but they will look beautiful in someone's, especially if somebody had like a mid-century modern decor house, that would look awesome. So I went to one of my local thrift stores the other day and I found these dolls and these accessories all together for 10 bucks. So I took a chance on it. It's called Quince. Um, I will show you guys, I looked up some comps there. This little lot right here is the one I'm thinking that might be closest to mine um, in similarity. It looks like it sold for $68 for the Quince and the accessory. So obviously I think I have some Barbie stuff, Barbie related items mixed in here. So I'm just gonna give this a dump what we've got. Wow. Okay, so I think I've got $10 worth there. Pretty sure. These other accessories, I'm not even really sure whether they're Barbie or the Quince, but maybe I'll just make up a lot and then just list them as Quint and Barbie. Look, we got a Barbie boombox. That's pretty neat. Misty. Got a little Barbie ice bucket. This would be one of the quints. Um, each one of the quints were numbered. Like their butts. She has a number one. And she has a faded number two. Number four. And so on and so forth. So I'm going to lot that up as Barbie and quints. I don't know if. Um, I don't know, I'll just have to look up some comps of different lots and see 
what I might price it at. Oh, see, there's like a little, I think this is part of the blender. But there's a little shoe in there for one of the quints. And here's a little wagon for quint number three. Yeah. Where are you going? Trying to play a course. You are? Yeah. By yourself? Okay. I love you. Love you. So I've been sitting here for about five minutes, you guys, trying to recover from that spin that I did just a minute ago. And oh my God, let me tell you, I will not do that again. I cannot do spinny things. Stupid. I was very stupid. Okay, I know I look like a weirdo with the sunglasses on, but there is a reason. So we were hunting for deer stag, which are the antlers of the deer, um, in our on our property a couple hours ago. Well, I scratched one of my eyes, and the other other eye also just continued to run and run and run. So both of my eyes are so watery, so itchy, and if I took my glasses off right now, my eyes are just like so red and yeah so i'm gonna do this with sunglasses on so i'm gonna let you guys know what sold with sunglasses okay so first up we've got a valentino silky body oil spray that i packed up today earlier in this video and you've seen that and it sold for 25 bucks um that was in with the bulk list or the bulk buy that we did um if you've watched any of my previous videos you'd see the bulk buy that we did at a storage unit and most of these things are going to be from that out how about this i'll just say if i got it elsewhere okay because most of these items that i'm going to be talking about are coming from that that area so um next up we had two packages of tommy hill figure underwear um whitey tidies as i call them they sold for 56 dollars in total for the two packages now there were two pairs of underwear in each one so the the guy's getting four pair of underwear for 56 bucks um and these were like 1990s tommy hilfiger underwear um so the next one um also was shipped out earlier in this video today um a pennsylvania train car trailer Pretty cool, 20 bucks on that little guy. And let's see, next up we have a James Conrad Tour Series Volt Disc Golf um, Disc. So that sold for $50. That actually was something that my two sons, so they picked them up for resale. They paid I think like $21 at a, at a local disc store. And they're 13 and 15. So they turned around and sold that for 50. So good one for them. Next up we have this Coors Snapback Trucker Cap that sold for $40. It was really cool. It had a had a really neat, um, I don't know, almost like a tiger stripe design. And coming in at a $155 sale is this Vintage Railway Express train building. And it says it's G scale. It was brand new, never used, never put together. Um, and I think somebody got a good deal at 155 even because we had seen some comps that had sold for 200 in the past. So, you know, but we take offers and I think the guy was pretty happy. We got another James Conrad tour disc sold for $47. <laughs> the fact that the thing fit in the palm of my hand and I sold it for $75 and it was virtually weightless. It's just, I could do that all day long. Like, all right. So we also have this $42 sale with this moisture lotion from Merle Norman. Um, this was something that I had never heard of four ounces uh, even. Um, so also looks like coming up, we have a sale of a Corgi Porsche car and that sold for $57.85. And that is pretty awesome. We have a ton of those old cars to list still. And with each of them bringing really good money. I mean, I just, I hope it keeps up because it's it's been pretty good. So this Peruvian Connection is normally like 100% alpaca, I think it is. Um, but this one happened to be 100% Pima cotton. And it sold for 100 bucks, so we were really happy. 
So this next sale was a VHS of Leatherface or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3. Um, 1990 was the year this was put out. We sold this for $16. And so Leatherface's brother in Part 2 used to crack me up. Like that, that Part 2 was like the funniest movie out of all of those uh Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So here in this one, we had this junk drawer light that sold for $47. And this was just a mixture of things that came out of the storage unit um, clean out. You take a couple things that you don't think are going to sell very well and you kind of bulk them together and get them out the door. $47 later, we're happy. They're happy. So it's all good. Our sale with a Matchbox Lesney Die Car Catalog from 1959 so that was really neat um let's see the next one was another uh, model and this was a Tamiya Terrell it sold for $117.49 even though I can't really say the name right <laughs> we got a really good price for it I wish you guys could see what I can see when I'm looking through these glasses because everything looks neon green anything white that I can see Looks like liquid Mountain Dew. So this is our pole barn. You'll see when I open the door. It's kind of ridiculous. Ah, it's just a mess is what it is. These are going back to Mount Sterling, Kentucky. The next time we go back down there, we like to drink a light out of these special refillable bottles. All right, so this is one thing that I need to get out of here today. I'm gonna to take this up and list it. This is an old, some sort of old radio. I don't, I don't know exactly what it did in its day, but it's got some really neat old inner workings. Tubes, runs off of tubes, and I'm not even sure what else. But I really wanna get that up, up to the, uh, house and in the base we have overflow boxes down here which pile over here in the corner is um, stuff that we will end up taking to the world's longest yard sale in August old Ziggy that's going to the yard sale that I could probably take up and list that too um, just a mix different things down here these the Disney stuff has become so popular I think I need to try these these uh, bibs again these are Dalmatian bibs these are fun so we've got I love this I'll take that back to the sale again too Levi's If you guys can see that. That does it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching today. And I'm going to get my things to the post office so they can make their way to the buyer. And I'll see you next time.